I get ready to show another really quick video. Um, because when you say that you impact the community, I think what really matters is for people to hear all the types of things that you guys are doing. So I'm gonna have you show our community impact video. Nate, are you ready? Awesome. This is just one of the few of the things that you guys do. This barbershop is restoring the image and the narrative of our culture for a community. We come together with the FAST program and we have barbershop chats. We go out and we are able to meet and greet intimately. Nowadays, we miss the intimacy because we have the cell phone and the PlayStations and all of that. We don't have the intimacy like we used to. The fathers don't get up and take the children to the barbershop anymore, the young men like they used to. And the young men could sit around and learn from their fathers and learn from the community, honor and respect. We've been indoctrinated to do things that we weren't accustomed to doing in our culture. Once we begin to learn our culture and our history, how we had honor and respect and integrity, and we had our words that we meant when we said what we meant. It wasn't being mean, but we meant what we said. So we thank God for the will more in the FAST program because as we do God's will more, first we gotta find out what God's will is. Family rumors, helping each other. I always tell the truth. Dream be, be happy, you know, love each other. Biblical principles. Through the FAST program, you have been blessed to go out and be a blessing to somebody else. As the president of FAST, building a strong foundation for our community is building a strong foundation for our black families. Um, having a father in a home and putting things in order and in perspective, the young men and young women can see the, how strong uh, mother and father is working together. That way, when they get older, that they can see and model the same thing that they um, seen growing up. And that also helps the, the community as well as a whole by having a strong black family and a strong community. We have a bright future here at FAST because we believe in our purpose. We believe that we are strengthening families. Our support systems, our networks, our community partners um, br bring us together, strengthens us. We have uh, lots of uh, activities planned and those within those activities we have lessons learned. And I think we're, we're building families. Our future is bright. I think that every family is going to benefit from this FAST organization. I'm proud to be a part of it. I love Everyone that. benefits. I love that. I love that. I mean, again, talk about impacting the community. Doesn't it make you smile, Lincoln? I mean, you just to know that you're part of something so amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I love it. So one of the questions I was going to ask you guys, and I, I know there was there was an event that you just had this past yesterday, actually. Um, Kathy, I think it was in partnership with another organization. Yes, Women's in Medicine. Network. You know, th things have changed. I mean, it was a, you know, you guys are used to playing basketball and baseball and having these camps where you're physically together. And I saw something on uh, Facebook and you guys sent me a text about this event that was a community unite event, but it was a socially distanced event where you were helping people. Tell us about how, how you know, why that came about. Like, like why, why did you choose to do something now? Well, with uh, these terrible times right now, social distancing, we have to, uh, you know, we want to be safe. We want to um, still bring the community together and serve our community as best as we can. Um, we respect our governor. We realize, you know, that it's a tough decision that he's making. And, um, but still, people are hurting. People are still in need. So um, when the organization uh, couldn't contact us and ask us if uh, we were interested in joining in with them. We said, yes, we are. So what they did was they partnered with Popeye's Chicken and uh, we gave out um, lunch snacks and fast contributed healthy hygiene packages for all our communities. And we, you know, it's just a blessing to be a blessing. So we got out there in the rain and the cold <laughs> <laughs> and we passed out, you know, all of these wonderful, um, product to our community and they loved it. They came and talked to us and were able to, you know, just spread some love and that's what it's all about, right? I love it. Well, I actually met, I connected with you guys back in December where you had a, you had one of your holiday events and it was so <laughs> lovely. It was so special. And I heard you say then that you're blessed to be a blessing, right? Mm -hmm. That you guys are, you know, you, you, there was, 
ethnic families there. There were multi-generational grandparents and very young kids and, you know, all ages were there. And it was such a beautiful event, but it was really, you know, this is an initiative. This is about changing communities. I love that you don't focus on doing a thing. You're basically connecting organizations, connecting individuals and, 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 and father, you decided that I'm going to take action. I'm not just going to talk about it. You said you're a Seattleite, right. born and raised, and you decided um, you see you were seeing a, a community that was being ravaged by violence and all kinds of other things, and you realized that the father was the core of the community, mm -hmm. and you decided to take action. Right. To take action, and then you continue to help others to do the same. So if you were talking to people, first of all, why did you take action, and then what can you tell people who are sitting back saying, "Yeah, I know that there's a problem, but I, I don't know what to do." I took action because I, I saw firsthand, you know, young men that were being gunned down and the violence that was just right around me. I mean, I was in an area and it was just within a mile, just, just in front of me, a mile or closer. And so I went home and I talked to my wonderful wife and I told Kathy what I was planning on doing. I said, you know, I'm, I'm tired of talking about it. And, you know, she, she was just, she, she, she got the vision right away. She called on to what I was saying. And from there, we were able to go out and at least bring some families together, some fathers together and talk about what we wanted to do and then put it in place. And so we had our first event, I think our first event was at Mount Zion Fellowship Hall. Mm -hmm. And we had a lot of people come in, important people that came in, everybody's important. So we had people come in and we shared what we wanted to do. And that was one of our, the most beautiful events that we had. And they've been getting better and better as we went because the kids now, some of them have grown up and going to school and graduated from school and came back and became board members for FAST. Wow. And so this, you know, like I said, we, we have a mission. We're on a mission to succeed. Wow. We have so much out there going on, but I believe that, well, I not believe, I know that FAST is making a difference. 